Hey guys, and welcome back to Tormented Souls, where we last left off, we uh, actually made a little bit of progress. We had a light puzzle to try and solve. Ah, bollocks. And yeah, of course, we've got Mrs. Uh, Pudding Person floating around following us. Now, where was that? Um, thing. Dining room, restroom, library, bedroom, penthouse. It was here somewhere, wasn't it? Was it in the office? Yes! Right. So, uh, we... Was it? Yeah, there it is. Now, uh, we need to try and make the music... So, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so uh, I mean, right. So there's six. No, there's one, two, three, four, five. So there's seven. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Yeah, so there's seven. Okay. Now, let's listen to this again. Uh, so... I have been playing with this off camera. I'll make that. And then it was like. Right, okay, yeah. I was fiddling with that quite a bit off camera. Um, and I kind of got close and I worked it out. And I, yeah, I was just going to leave it for when I started recording again. Um, right, so, yeah, it, that actually wasn't that hard to work out, to be honest with you. Um,. Now, what did that open? Because there's actually only three sounds. And this leads down. Down into some infernal... Ooh, yes! Yes, bullets. Well, nails, you know. Basically, bullets. Okay, now we're armed. We're in like a sewer. Alright. This oh Yeah, we see we're still missing number one. I don't know whether that's by design. Right, thanks to that stranger, I was able to get out of the cell. I, oh yeah, that was us. I hid the best I could inside the mansion, but grandfather and the suited men found me again. This time they took me to the sewers under the family crypt. Uh, he told me that I wouldn't be able to escape, no matter how much I cried and begged. Then he closed the door and left me. Luckily, he didn't notice the lighter and flashlight I grabbed from the mansion. I found that what appears to be a bedroom, there's a filthy bed, electricity, even a functioning television. There are boxes of food and a pipe that provides drinking water from above. Okay. The smell was terrible. It reminded me of the suited man who struck my mother just before she freed us from the metal crosses. Seven years have passed since my last entry. The television. That offers only local channels. This is the one thing that has kept me sane. Sometimes I wonder why I still hold on to life. Blisters have started to appear on my skin. I can feel a burning sensation with each passing day. My appetite diminishes whilst the vomiting only gets worse. Something is taking over me. Something evil. At night, I listen to the sounds of clanging metal from behind the door that leads to the underground temple. After all these years, I'm still unable to sleep with those noises ringing out. So she was like down there for seven years? In the lonely dark? Oh, fucking hell. Hello. Hey, big boy. 
Bit of a trap. You know what? Yeah. I'm not putting up with much of your bollocks. Right. Literally. Oh, okay. He's dead. <laughs> Fair enough. That was significantly easier than I thought it was going to be. Uh, so there's nothing there. I thought that would be something we could fiddle with, but I guess not. Uh, is this... Oh, right. Hang on. We don't have a map for this area. So this is not... Just a loop around. Okay. Alright, let's try this door. Locked from the other side. Of course it is. Why wouldn't you be locked from the other side? Okay. I mean, admittedly, like, you know, 14 shotgun shells in this game is a lot. Ooh. Another diary. Oh. Have we... Oh, we found number one here. Okay. So maybe we haven't missed that one. I don't know. March, uh, 15th of March, 1927. I have finally found my purpose in life. The truth came to me through this book. And from the hand of the creator, right now I stand inside the sacred temple. In the presence of a god waiting to be reborn, I can clearly see my destiny. I will dedicate my life to the rebirth of Pollux sect. The Pollux sect. Together, we will bring back our saviour, so he may return light to this wicked world. Right. So that's what Grandad's been up to. But who... Ooh. But who and what... Okay. Hang on. So, uh, Bertram Wildberger. But didn't we just pick up his diary saying that he was writing? Where is it? Where is it? I wish this was organized better. Um,. So he was born in 1940-something. According to that card. So why is he writing in March of 1927? I'm not wrong, am I? No. Okay. Bertram. That was definitely Bertram, wasn't it? Yes. Okay. I have literally no idea what that's about. Right. I'm guessing that card. Is that the card that we put in the slot thing? Maybe. That's the door that's lock from the other side can we like smash that with the yeah I didn't think so it was worth a shot okay so apparently his date of birth on his oh no yeah, so his date of birth on his card is either wrong or there's more time travel involved, which, yeah, maybe, I guess. All right, well, I'm trying not to worry too much about 
the actual, you know, time scale in this game because it just seems to, you know, contradict itself quite a bit. And the fucking pudding person is outside. Fuck off, marshmallow lady. Uh, right, so now we need to go... Oh, dear. Back downstairs, I guess. Which was... Through here. Yeah, we have to go through the library for some reason. Oh, we can go through the meeting room, actually. Eh, we're in the library. We're in the library. We'll go through the library. It is what it is. Yeah, maybe we haven't missed any diaries then. I don't know. I do wish the items would flicker just a little bit. Because otherwise, you know, it is pretty bloody difficult to actually find, you know, items in this game. I mean, I guess the f fact that this game has literally... Apparently, no replay ability at all. Yeah, there's no extra difficulties. There's, you know, apart from a handful of achievements, which you may or may not care about, there's no, like, unlockable weapons. Although I have read something about a triple shot um, nail gun that they added. But apparently it's not that good, because all it really does is waste ammo. So, I don't know about that. Right, let's try. Right, okay. Cool. So we found a new area called Stairs. This is going to go down to the temple, isn't it? There's going to be some weird funky voodoo down here. Alright, so there's another... Where does that go? Does that lead to... Oh, it's a save room. With some more high powered charges, which your mileage may vary. And a save tape, which sure I guess. We haven't haven't really done anything yet, so it seems a little bit redundant to save the game. Uh let's keep going. Ooh. Is there a new type of boss down here new type of enemy maybe ooh ah oh, it's not a new type of enemy I guess apparently we do not want to go this way according to the signage toxic danger of death well if that's toxic danger of death let's try the other door first shall we uh, and maybe just maybe switch out to a different weapon how many nails have we got left? We've got 11. So we've got like a full reload. Ah, oh, this is a mausoleum. We've read about this place. So this is kind of interesting. You can draw your weapon and you can go into like a animation of walking, but you can't walk. That's odd. Well, this is nice and ominous. Ooh. Hey, 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 where are you going? I hope they're going somewhere good. Alright. Sounds like more weird stuff happening. I don't like these camera angles. <laughs> I do like the little shuffling feet, though. That's that's kind of funny. Um, oh. Okay. Oh, he is actually, like, active. Ow, ow, ow. 
Yeah, he is actually active. He's just having a little bit of a sleep. Um, should we give him a prod? See what that does? And then try and bash him into oblivion? Yeah, I mean, eh, I don't know about this cattle prod thing. It's a thing, I guess. I mean, we get a lot of ammo for it, so. At least it kind of feels like we're getting a lot of ammo for it. Are you going to scoot off? Yeah, you're going to scoot off. All right, guys. Go have yourselves a little, little hidey hole somewhere. Right. A podium. Someone must have preached from here. Yeah. They preach to people sitting in wheelchairs, apparently. I mean, you know, you use what you got, I suppose. Oh. I'm not here to judge. Uh, very difficult to see. Which, you know, is pretty standard. So we can go keep going that way. I'm guessing we can't go like any way back here. No. Alright. Well, let's keep going down this rabbit hole, I suppose. Let's see what we can find. I mean, we've got plenty of weapons. How much health have we got? We got one morphine, one med pack, so yeah, could be better. Is our Lord and Savior, JC? Ooh, hidden meeting chamber. Oh man, this ah, so these are the metal crosses that we were locked up in, I guess. Some sort of heart is placed on a cross. Doesn't look like a painting. Is this a photograph? Well, it kind of looks cracked like a painting to me, but... You know, I'm no expert. Alright, another recording tape. They're giving us a lot of tapes. Oh, nice. Noah's Diary. So, uh, 7th of November, 1967. Uh, for years, I cursed my destiny. I've always thought my birthright had been stolen from me when my twin brother didn't survive labour. I hated my mother. I hated the doctors. I hated myself the most. We were supposed to tribute our sacred blood to the gods. The sect won't sacrifice a single child. They require twin brothers or God will be or our god will be unable to grow. Now I understand my role in our god's rebirth. This is not to give my blood, but to lead the Pollux sect into his sacred destiny. Alright, cool. Seems to be a lot of craziness going on down here. So... But they didn't get to sacrifice twin brothers, did they? It was twin sisters. Oh, there's something big stomping around. Let's go get our cattle prod out. Oh. Yeah? What do you think of that? Huh? Oh, it sounds like it's more than one of them. Man, I wish that was just a little bit quicker. Oh, he's still going. Uh, that'll do. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Uh, so we've got five of these charges. Um, bit of a fan of this cattle prod. Actually. Oh, yes. There's a hit of the whole fruit right there. Boink. Boink. Luckily, you can actually switch weapons. 
very fast. Which is advantageous to us. Boink. Boink. You good? You good. Good lad. Settle down and shut the fuck up, will you? Okay. Ooh. Okay. We're back up to 12 shotgun shells. 13 shotgun shells, I guess. Yeah, actually, I suppose that giant cattle prod ain't too bad, in all fairness. Uh, can we set fire to the flowers? I guess not. Um... Okay, well, I guess we can't do anything with that yet. Right. The carving on the golden plate reads, The beautiful archangel uh, subtly lifted its finger. A golden shine from its ring almost blinded me, and suddenly the gates of hell were wide open, only for me. Yeah, that doesn't sound good, chief. It really doesn't sound that good. A big memorial tomb. There is a sculpture of a young woman holding a... Holding a caduple flowers. The stench of corpse blends with the aroma of the flowers. So... Can we have a look at the corpse? No? Okay. Alright. I mean, sure. Plenty of coffins here. Now, what else have we? Be nice to find some more ammo. Uh, I literally have no idea what's here. There doesn't appear to be anything down here. At least not yet. Maybe we need an item. There's still something that we haven't done upstairs. So maybe we're supposed to get an item. Do we need some flowers or something? Uh, can we... Ah. Right. I going to say, can we play with the finger? Right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go skull bashing. Or actually... Let's take our cattle prod for a for a spin, shall we? Now, what's down here? Is this going to be the other side? Oh, can hear big things. Dude, where you at? Hey, friend. Poke. Let's go jab him right in the buttocks. Oh, she's slow with that crowbar. Oh, she's so slow with that crowbar. But, you know, it's fine. Come on. There we go. Well, this looks like the stuff of nightmares. Only got two blasts with that thing left. Who could perform medical procedures in a place like this? Well, I don't know. Yes! I'm getting attached to this thing. I really am. It's kind of a silly, goofy, fun weapon. You know, Claire Redfield would be proud of this weapon. Ooh. Ooh. So, 16th of August, 1969. Members of the sect are getting restless. We have fewer twin babies to offer, and our attempts to force their conception in the test subjects have woefully failed. We have only managed to get defective specimens, Siamese fetuses that are so misshapen that they are incapable of surviving long after the caesarean section. Oof. If this continues, I will lose my position as High Priest of the Pollock Sect. 
I am afraid that without my leadership, the other members will grow bolder. This might raise suspicion about our cult. <gasps> yeah. So Granddaddy was not a very nice man. So we're starting to learn a little bit more, which is fine. It's good. I'm happy with all this learning. Right, so we can go further down. But what I'm still confused about is the the little things, like the time travel. And um, the walking through mirrors. Right? Like, what what's that about? And uh, as Alan said as well uh, in previous comments, I, he doesn't think that we ever actually find out information regarding that. So, I don't know, Chief. Going to be very disappointed if we don't find at least some reason. I mean, they could just make some shit up, you know. Anything will do. Just explain it. Oh, sound like we got a big boy down here. Get the cattle prod out. Ooh. Oh, we're getting a serious dump here. Uh, sometimes I dream at night. In my dreams. Ha ha ha. Kind of going into Silent Hill there. So this was only in 1991. Now, the, the date of this game is 1994. So this is only three years ago. Sometimes I dream at night. In my dreams, the wind dances with the smell of flowers and caresses my face. The afternoon sun paints the clouds behind the mountains in sepia and lilac tones. My heart fills with joy. I'm standing on a beautiful balcony full of plants and flowers, all of them full of life. I go back inside the room and I see the wall covered with gorgeous green wallpaper. The place smells wonderfully of lavender. Oh, dude, yes. There is a big mirror in front of me. I go to it, slowly, unable to resist the curiosity, and my reflection appears on the glass. That's me, but not exactly. The person in the reflection has clean and treated hair. Her smooth skin glows with a slight tan. Her lips are as red and ripe as fruit. Oof, it's getting a... Getting a little bit, uh, a little bit hot up in here. I admire her for a few moments with nothing but envy, and suddenly my chest tightens. Rage poisons my blood, and my eyes turn red. And giving in to the murderous instinct, I hurl myself to the neck of that person, that person so similar to me, but whose confused eyes betray her as an imposter. I feel the pressure of the blood on her carotid artery through my fingers. Her mouth tries to articulate a word but I push even harder afraid of what she might say so I push some more. I wake up in the dark, in the dark soaking in sweat. Uh, the sound of sewer water and uh, the air currents make me realise that I'm in my room but the lavender smell carries on floating a few moments until it escapes completely through the bars. So, so is she having like visions of us? I mean, she's obviously our twin, I guess. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Come on. Oh. So someone's like over there somewhere. Don't. Think we can get to it. Oh, almost missed that. Young child's doodles drawn in blood. Anna. So that's like our sister. It's got to be right. I mean, seriously, that has to be our our sister, surely. Right, let's go have a little look. Right, so that leads to the other side. Oh, God. Is that weird blob thing floating around meant to be Anna? 
And we don't have the map for this area yet either. But, unfortunately, we are going to have to save it because we're on half an hour. Which means we're out of time. And uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm pretty disappointed about that as well. I want to continue. Uh, but I can't. I'm going to have to start wrapping things up for work. So, uh, that's not where we wanted to be. We had a 50-50 chance of where to go. And we chose the wrong fucking door. Like a chad. Oh, she's back. Will you piss off? Seriously. Utter douchebag. Thank you. Like, nobody cares, Anna. Okay. If you're called Anna. I'm assuming you're called Anna. Where does this go? Right. This is where we need to be. Right, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to save the game there. I'm still enjoying this. It's weird. It doesn't make sense. It's convoluted and full of plot holes. But it's not a bad game. Uh, it's certainly been worth my time. And uh, when we come back, I guess we're going to continue. But I, I mean, I don't know how much is left of this game. I, I, I don't feel like I'm getting to an end game. It doesn't feel like we've moved on anywhere. That's one criticism I will say about this game. You know, with Resident Evil and Silent Hill, you're constantly moving towards something and you can feel the progression of the game. In this, not really. I mean, we're now underground. And we've explored most of this place. So I guess there's not a lot left, but I've no idea. Ah, uh, right. So let's drop a save there. Are we going to hear any more? Well, there is a lot of save tapes as well, so I guess there's that. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, till next time.